told them that. So was Huntington. Bose was just a shopkeeper in the shop established by his He went into reloading equipment, rifles and RTBS, the biggest known reloading. Specialist reloading for rifles. I've got anything off him for a couple of years now, but it'd be the same. Yeah, that bullet's there, eh? Yep. Nice soft one. I did a bull the other day. About four days ago. And this knife just wouldn't touch it. Big bull. <clears throat> When you get an order yeah. for it, you take I burn because it's easier to handle and it means you have no further work at home. It stays in the bag, goes in the freezer, then goes out to the delivery. We're using now our own private one. Yeah. But we've got to <laughs> put a pair of strides on. If there's someone wants them for a function, an opening, or so I'd like to deliver at least three a week. Yeah, yeah. And we don't maintain that average. So what do you do with these? Uh, Put it in the bag, then get the handhold. Yep. Otherwise, it goes straight out the bottom. Yeah. And put in. Uh, have you got the blue tub empty? Yep. Yeah. Put in. You know, you, you, you give a meat to a function and some non-bush persons organised it all. You know. Yeah. Involving Aboriginal people, but they organised. So I had the meat go. Oh, I can't complain. I mean, it was free. Instead of this, and because there was always a jail sentence associated with killing cattle, it was eight years jail sentence cattle killing. The old days with a Toyota, you take everything, including a hide. There used to be a lot more camp dogs. So the only thing we used to leave here was a piss bladder and the gall bladder. That's what you said. Lee's got a large gall bladder, mm. much larger than cattle. Make a lovely roast. <laughs> yeah, and if you leave that on it, which is not part of the rump stack, it's good to hang it, you know, if you're hanging it. Yeah. Do they fry this or boil it? Roast it, uh, fry it, yep. boil it. It was always roasting because they had no way of boiling, and they had no water container. Beautiful looking clean meat. Yeah, it's good meat. Tom Pipey used to use it, mate. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't a cheap second rate product, it was a it was a cheap better product, you know. The market for these animals is just about totally unfilled now. They can't get them. Yeah. They're always nagging me for them. I just say, well at the moment it's not gonna help the farm. Is that it for this? Yep. Yeah, see. Backstrap. And that one will be right now. Yeah, I didn't think you had that much fat on. The you idea know, buffalo being fat free has come from the days when. Tag it in. Man. Yeah. I'm surprised how easy they put back. No, they rip the bag. Bags. Yeah. The, those ribs there are. Hi. Uh... Huh? Commercial supply, they'd be at least, well, they'd be more than 25 bucks a kilo because a lot of cattle meat's 25 bucks a kilo now. It is. Virtually unobtainable now. Yeah. Is that, is that breakfast you're cutting off there? <laughs> the heart in these is easily twice the size of a cattle heart. Yeah? Mm. For the body weight. That'd oh. be quite a big. My dead ones and live ones. So. Quite, quite a big beast. In Just, just get it up to a certain point and hold on. I'm done with cross. Yeah, you can do a very big bull on your own by pulling them out the opposite direction by their tail. Yeah. yeah. About ten years ago it was then. He was such a user, such an arrogant prick.
Okay. Nothing to do with crocs though. Do you remember New Guinea was trying to get... Yeah. When you show them, you don't put them on Naomi Campbell. Both countries that... you got caimans, millions of caimans. So that's where all your caimans and animals like that would end. Consumption? Yeah. Yeah. People with this resource guild in history. So fucking happy. <laughs> <laughs> and the you drive in 300 kilometres and find the stunt off fishing camera. I don't. Got us great for work experience, kids. My dead ones and live ones so far. Yeah, you can put them in there. A lot of. So, what's the plan A? You always put your finger in it. So what you are? Wasn't she whinging at him to finish the job? <laughs> Anyway, while we're filming that of the day, like I was saying, they just cut and edit what they want. But the fella that's um, with a switchboard can hear everybody talking in the film crews. And, and it's not educational, it's entertaining. Oh, no. That he said, people. Oh, uh, telling me all about films on that? No. John Singleton. But there's good film. Um, what, a, what a local guy, uh, white fella, and Henry goes from that. That lot that you can you can slide in on the top of the box there. Yeah, bullocks have their kid both kidneys exposed. Mm. I took <laughs> That's good meat straight on the coal. Yeah. <laughs> Done? And uh Give your dogs exercise over. A bowel cancer. I would have liked to have known about it. Oh shit, there's three of us. On, uh, they're on hourly rate. And I'm talking. Looking at him one day and he had all these scars all over him now. But that's not the reason people don't camp in it. <coughs> and when the electric sewing machines come in, all those old ones and that all got thrown away. Some of them very high quality, you know. I love Mel, but he's almost.
anywhere, right? Oh, yeah, you just separate them on the bo on top of those those yeah. bottles in there. That goes in the freezer. It's because it's so fresh. There's a fair bit of latitude with this lot, but. Yeah, you can. Oh, Alright. Yeah. Alright, don't matter, mate. Yeah, I'm going real slow. Yeah. 